Today's hearing, as you just heard Mark allude, Chief Justice John Roberts refused to read a question from Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky that named a person that every single human being in Washington already knows to be the secret whistleblower. I have a question to present to the desk for the uh, House Manager Schiff and for the President's Counsel. The <clears throat> presiding officer declines to read the question as submitted. What are we watching here? Tom Fitton, President of Judicial Watch, may know the answer. Tom, thanks so much uh, for coming on. You're welcome. What was that, and what are we supposed to make of that? Well, that was an extraordinary example of the deep state protecting itself. Uh, you have the Chief Justice of the United States making a political decision, arguably in his discretion, uh, but to keep out the name of the alleged whistleblower. And who, by the way, because we've sued for records about him, he was assigned by the CIA on the Ukraine issue to both the Obama and Trump White House, allegedly worked with Joe Biden. So irrespective of whether he's the whistleblower, what he is doing is of intense public interest. And we're not even allowed to mention his name. If I mentioned his name and you posted this on YouTube, YouTube would take it down. They've already taken down yeah, videos. May I ask a relevant question, particularly relevant because the Chief Justice has weighed in. Is it against the law to mention his name? No, he's not, he's not a whistleblower legally. Morally, he's not a whistleblower. There's nothing to protect him other than buying into this political... Wait, 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 I mean, so let me interrupt you again. If it's not against the law, then on what grounds is the chief justice, whose job it is to interpret the Constitution to uphold the law, on what grounds is he denying it? Schiff has bullied, in my view, the chief justice and the full Senate into keeping this name private because to expose it would expose the corrupt formation. But there's no legal reason there's to do it. There's absolutely pressure from a Democratic congressman from Burbank. That's it. That's exactly right. And the big tech companies have bought into it. Look, I, I was there yesterday, Tucker, and I saw Adam Schiff say the only reason, in the end, to bring in this whistleblower is to endanger his life. So he's essentially accusing those who want to ask questions of him of wanting to see him killed. I didn't see the Chief Justice exercise his discretion and to take down his words from accusing those asking questions of wanting to endanger a witness's life. This is an extraordinary abuse of the Senate and uh, Mark's points are well taken. They can't shut this down soon enough and the fact it got this far, the president may be acquitted but the country has been terribly abused and our system has been terribly abused because now they've got this new technique to abuse any sitting president they like, and it's not going to be any liberal or Democrat president, because Republicans aren't going to do this. They're just going to go back to this toolbox again and again. And it would not surprise me, given their opportunity to smear the president, protect their arguable co-conspirators in the deep state, that they'll go back to this box again and uh, pull out impeachment. So we're hearing... Against Trump, not just generally, of against Trump. We're hearing that this could end soon with an acquittal. Do you think that that's likely, possible? I mean, that's what we're told. Uh, but with a trial, you never know. But uh, on the other hand, there's no evidence. And this is just a mockery. As I said the other day, I was talking to someone, Judge Wapner's People's Court had more due process for the defendants and those participating than Donald Trump is getting here. And He's had no witnesses. And one of the positive things is we are been educated a little bit about Biden's corruption, and to his credit, the president comes off as a corruption fighter. There are a couple of Democrats, at least a couple in the Senate, who are suffering through this because they know it's not good for them. And I think it's possible this could end tomorrow, maybe during this hour, um, but we'll see. Because I, I don't think this is, a, this is a clean victory for the Democrats under any circumstances. Not a for the country in any circumstances, Democrat or Republican. Certainly not. You, you know, look, quickly, Bernie Sanders, do you think he's going to be treated much better than Donald Trump if he wins the presidency well, cool. by this same crowd? I doubt it. Yeah, I think that's a prescient point. Tom, thanks so much. You're welcome. We've got a Fox News alert for you. The 